Alright, what is up dude? Talking about a small Bravely Default. Last episode we went for the Pillar of the Light for the final time, and it turns out Aerie betrayed us, which is uh, not good. And we fought Aerie, uh, first and second form, which was uh, pretty good. Kicked her ass. And now we've got to find Adia and Agnes, and I don't know where they're going to be. Ah, on the deck. It's just as Father and Master Kami Izumi said. But I was blind. Completely ignorant. I saw everything in black or white. How could I let this happen? How could I have been such an idiot? You aren't. There was no way you could have known, Idea. Aerie is going to pay for this betrayal. Along with her master, Ouroboros, too. That much I know, but still, I... I'll never be able to forgive myself. Have you seen Agnes? You know, what they called the uh the master was it Auroribus? From the look of it, it looks like Ouroboros. That's what I would call it. it. Sounds a better name if you ask me. And Agnes is just up here in the pub. Oh, there you are. The repairs are almost done. It's time we talk strategy. This is all my fault. My trust in Ari has devastated the fate of innumerable souls. And that includes you, Ringabout, and Adia too. All because I was a fool. That's not true. You're not responsible for anyone's fate but your own. <laughs> You're all blaming yourselves. Well, fine. Be sad. Feel guilty. Regret what none of us could have helped. But the minute the repairs are done, all that ends. Aerie deceived us. Aerie. And a lot of people have suffered as a result. But that's why we can't sit here wallowing in sorrow. She must be stopped. And we're the ones to do it. The time to put an end to this is now. Come to the bridge when you're ready. We'll await you there. Alright. Oh, is it the fox? What's the fox doing here? So, any interest in changing names? Do you realize you can change names? Uh. Oh god, no! Alright, something I really need to do is save it, because I haven't saved it since we. Well, before we fought Aerie, so. <laughs> Did not want anything bad to happen. I think I'm going to head back to the ship now, yeah. Let's quickly save it. That's pretty cool, did not know you can change names in this game. I like that. But then I doubt that, uh... I think the cutscenes are still call you Tiz and everything. I think it's just for appearances. I'm sorry to have kept you all. We understand. So, what are we to do now? We go see the Sage. I don't see any other options. He foresaw that this would happen. What do you think, Agnes? Yes, I agree. Please, set a course immediately. Party is regrouped. Very good. To the sage we go. Party chat. Ultimus's memory. Oh, I see. Phoenix flight and minor strike. Huh? Oh no, I was just thinking back to when I was still the Dark Knight at Alternus Dim. Bara said something to me back then, he said, My Phoenix Flight and your Minor Strike are the ultimate combination. You sacrifice HP for major damage with Phoenix Flight, and you do as much damage as your HP lost with Minor Strike. Hmm, that could be interesting. You can even have multiple uh, pairings like that in the party. It's worth a try. And if there's way, were a way to add some major healing after the minor strike, be icing on the cake. Let's try to find something of that sort. 
We were both really excited about it back then, even though neither of us had mastered the moves yet. Holly was there with us too. Thing was her suggestion to use the freelancer's stand ground until she could follow up the healing. Ring a bell. That's what I do anyway. I don't think I use Phoenix Flight though, I use Dark Bane because I get multiple attacks and they do quite a lot of damage. But I might have to give this Phoenix Flight a go. And then uh, the healing. I've got Agnes covered with that, so it's all good. Let's go see the Sage. Hmm? You four are. No matter. It seems the time is upon us. There is much I would speak of. At last, at long last. Sage, we must rely on your wisdom. You are all we have. Though I fear I am far from all-knowing myself, child. A robberous, the celestial realm. It's the first I've heard of most of this. No. What are we to do if even you don't know? How do we stop this? Patience, child. He will be with us presently. Ah, and here he is. All here, I see. No need for pleasantries. I'm more or less aware of the situation. Then let's begin. Begin what? Agnes. Take the pendant you received from the sage, and raise it aloft. All right. Like this? That will do. Now, for the rest. Line up behind Agnes, and join hands, all of you. Uh, right. May I ask why? As party to these events, you have the right to know. And the desire as well, I expect. The revelation as spoken by the angel. Shall we? Indeed. <laughs> What's happening? Remain silent. O oh, warriors of light, hearken unto these words, should they reach you yet. The mark upon the evil one heralds the beginning. The bringer of ruin has risen. His name is Aroboros. Aroboros, bringer of ruin, shall devour all worlds linked by his harbinger. You and your world, and the whole of life on myriad other worlds, now face extinction. Hear me, warriors. Aroboros must not be loosed upon creation. You must use every ounce of your being to see this scourge contained. Wise guardians of the warriors of light, the time has come. Which of you will do as I have instructed? That particular role falls to me. It calls me, but you're the only one for it. You watch over them, Sage. Warriors of Light, know that you do not walk alone. There are those who protect you, those who await your return. Those who have entrusted you with the future. Those who brave the same battle you do. And you walk with one another. Should despair take hold, and your spirits falter, raise me aloft once more. Now go. Onward, warriors of light. My friends across the bounds of time and place. Who or what 
was that? The angel. The one who suddenly appeared and halted our fight 1,800 years past. And if I'm correct... The Agnes of the world I hail from. What? I failed to protect her. She may be, or perhaps not. Eri has interlinked tens of thousands of worlds. Myself from a different world? But why? How could she have... Perhaps her prayers for salvation reached the celestial realm. Or perhaps she sought only to warn her counterparts in other worlds. There is no way of knowing now. May I ask, Lord DeRoso, what is it you must do? That burden is mine alone. You will know before long, if all goes to plan. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've preparations to make. Speaking of, I shall break the final seal upon the Kustra Archipelago if it be of any use to you. I locked away the direst of the arms I took from the Orthodoxy in the cavern's deepest depths. You might seek them out, should you think it necessary, before you face Ouroboros. You know, I think I might have to. And we're gonna go ahead and just save it quickly. So I literally have to hold my DS on my knee and not even move it now because the sound for it is getting so bad. It's a little piggy. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's just take the ship. Ooh, it baited. Earth drum. That's probably just it. Now the town's all like kind of finished, there's not really much to do with it, just uh, get free stuff every now and then. Alright, and we have arrived. But before we go, I think I'm going to end this part here, just so I can sort the sound out and stuff, because it's been really kind of annoying. So I will uh, see you next time, where we will enter... Uh the darkness. Peace.